Today we're gonna to do a grilled shrimp small plate. First thing I wanna do though is I wanna make a little tomato salad to go with it. So um, what I've got is halved cherry tomatoes. I just have some very nice cherry tomatoes. Slice them in half, throw them in a bowl, okay? Uh, what, after that, what I'm gonna to add to it is I'm gonna add some thinly sliced garlic. This is very thinly sliced. Some diced red onion, okay? Um, I've got some olive oil. I'll put in a little bit of real. I use good olive oil for this because it's a salad. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put a little red wine vinegar. Okay. And then just to finish it off, we've got some oregano, salt, pepper. Now I could put anything else and I could have used basil, I could have used cilantro, I could have used mint, I could have used a combination. I just use a little bit of dry oregano this time. And then what I'm gonna do is finish, I'm gonna put some nice diced up feta cheese. So that's, that's done. It'll, it'll just sit for a while and pick up all those really nice flavors. So I'm gonna put this over to here and clear the decks. And what we're gonna do next is the shrimp. So we got some nice jumbo, uh, large shrimp, jumbo shrimp from the uh, fishmonger down the road. And here what I've got, I've already got most of them skewered. Um, uh, but of course what you have to do with these is you have to clean them, peel them and clean them. So I have one here, we'll just peel it, take the, take the shell right off, okay, pull the tail off. And then you have to cut right down the back. To find the vein that's back there. You cut down the back, open that up, and there's a small vein that you need to pull out. It's very small, small and it's thin. Okay, I'm going to put that here on these double skewers that I soaked. I soak them just in case. You know, they shouldn't catch fire on a grill here, but just in case I, I make sure I soak them. And then I use a double skewer. The double skewer aids the flipping process. And if you put them on a single one, you try to turn it, they tend to rotate. So here I got two, they flip right over there real nice. So what I'm going to marinate them in is I'm going to take some olive oil, right? Just put some olive oil on the bottom here. I'm going to put lemon juice in with that. Okay, that looks good. Don't worry about the seeds. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to use this for anything other than marinating. Looks like a half of a lemon is about enough. This is some garlic, garlic clove that I pasted. Um, again, I'm going to put in a little bit of salt for that. I'm going to stay with the oregano theme. There we go, the oregano theme. Um, I'm going to whisk it up here. Get that nice and whisked up. Yep. And then I'm going to put the shrimp in. So I'm going to put the shrimp on the skewers in here. I'm going to flip them over like that, get a coating on both sides. And I'm, these are just going to sit. They're going to sit for about, oh, I don't know, about uh, 30, 45 minutes in, uh, the, in the fridge. I'll put those over here and stick them in the fridge. And about halfway through, since half of it's sitting down in the marinade really nicely, about halfway through that, I'm going to flip them back over again, flip them and put the other side down in. Okay, so we got all that done. Now we're going to do the, the last thing while we're waiting for this, for this 30, 45 minutes, I'm going to make um, an achote seasoning. Now earlier in a previous episode, I made an achote paste that I rubbed on a duck. This is the dry seasoning uh, instead. The, the key to achote really is the only thing that's really important is the annatto seed. Okay, that is what it's the uh, point of the, uh, what is the achote is the annatto seed. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to put in is two teaspoons of cumin seed that I toasted, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Um, I've got uh, two teaspoons of oregano. I've got a tablespoon of kosher salt, about a teaspoon of uh, black peppercorns. And then I like to put a little cayenne. This is a cayenne to taste thing. So I put a couple shakes of cayenne in that because I like it to be a little spicy. All right, achote is from the uh, Oaxacan, Yucatan area of Mexico, uh, although the seed, the annatto seed, is used all the way down through South America. So we buzz this up. All 
All right, that's all buzzed up, and I've got a nice little uh, little dry seasoning to put on the shrimp when I cook them. So we'll be right back in a few. We got to have all this stuff get uh, marinated and flavors blended. So we'll come back and we'll finish this off. Okay, so here we are back again. The shrimp's been all marinated. I dusted it liberally with that achote seasoning. I've got them already going on the grill here. While we're waiting for that, let's plate the salad that I made. So we have this tomato salad here. And I'm just gonna put on each plate. See, it's really nice. The flavors are all nice and, and melded now. I got that beautiful feta. I got the onion, the garlic. So it's nice. Let's put that here. Okay, it's time to flip these. My double, you notice my nice double sticks makes that really easy. And I, we're just going to plate these right now like this. But you know, you could do a lot of different things with with this. As an example, you could put these on a tortilla. Make a little kind of roll of flour tortilla or something on them, make a little taco out of them. Um, I could put them in a sandwich, get some nice bread, put them in a sandwich. All right, we're cooking nice now. But like I said, the achate seasoning, ach uh, so anato seeds are these deep red seeds that are used throughout Central and South America. Sometimes people even refer to, when they say achote, they just mean the anato. But there's various different blends. In an earlier episode when I made duck, I made an achote paste, which is another common application. All right, we're just about done here. They're looking good. All right. I think we are done here, actually. So I'm gonna take these off the grill. Put them here. I'm just gonna push them right off. There you go. I'm gonna let you dig into that Great. with, of course, uh, a little know. more feta on top. We don't want to be stingy with the feta. There you go. I'll get these off. Okay. I'll let you dig into that while I peel these off of here. Definitely don't want to overcook them. No. It really smells great in here. <laughs> I can't tell, of course, but... That's what we need. We need yeah. a way to transfer everything else over the internet. Mm. We have to do it with smell. With the garlic. A nice little spice, no heat really, just um, just, just, just a, a nice little. Flavor. All I did was put a little bit of cayenne, mm -hmm. just a touch in mm -hmm. the achote season, mm -hmm. just to give it a little something. And the feta gives it a little saltiness also. Mm -hmm. Really yummy. Let me try a little tomato salad here. Hmm. Nice pop of acid there too. Great. Mm. Thank you. Wow. All right, hope you uh, give this a try. A nice little small plate, shrimp and tomato salad. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.